You know, I found it. I, I finally found it. But what? Shh, we're recording. Oh, um, oopsie. Well, good afternoon, GFS. This is Isha with me today. And this is Shrey, who is surprisingly super pumped up today. That's true, guys. Of course I want to share this good news. I mean, this is super cool. Casio CTK2000 Limited Edition, and I managed to get it only for 1,603 dirhams. I mean, it used to be nothing less than 2,000. Oof, online shopping can be so confusing, draining at times. I love shopping, but doing it online just isn't my cup of tea. Most of the times, I'm always lost in shopping. Last time, I ordered a fluffy puppy for my little brother, and it ended up coming up like a malnutrition fox instead. I know it can be sad, but did you know shopping helps you relieve stress? This is called retail therapy. As, as a fact, According to a study done by the University of Michigan, shopping helps relieve stress. And this was basically 40 times more effective at giving people the sense of control. And that shoppers were three times less more sad than compared to those that actually browse for items. Well, it must be for some. It, it stresses me odd the most. It's my brother's birthday next week and considering the current circumstances, it's not advisable to go to the shops to buy his birthday gift. Look, I know it can be chaotic and confusing most of the times, but today we have Miss Nandita in our studio to give us some cool tips about shopping and share all the exciting news from the world of e-commerce. Well, thank you for being with us, Miss Nandita. Thanks for having me over. I'm glad you're here to help Ishal with her shopping problems. But before we proceed further, can you tell our audience what you do? Um, Shrey, um, I wanted to introduce myself. I'm the CEO of www.freesigners.com. We are building an e-commerce for uh, emerging eclectic designers from across the world. That's really interesting about what you're doing. But how did this all begin? I mean, there's so many fashion websites in this region. But why did you get this idea of starting a fashion e-commerce? So uh, I'm actually an entrepreneur by nature. I was looking at businesses and opportunities where I could invest and take equity stake and grow them and i came across this opportunity where the founders were unable to devote time and effort so i took about 90 percent stake and now i'm running the show i'm building the uh, business and i had a few other ideas in mind which i wanted to implement uh, which are apart from e-commerce so that's where my entrepreneurial uh, uh, energy forced me to take up this uh, venture. And I, I'm a futurist. I look at businesses for the future. So I'm looking at building something big uh, in the next four or five years. And this is my journey. Wow, that is an amazing speech you've given there. That's, um, that's really good. That's awesome. Now, let's move on to my next question, which is basically a sequel to my previous one, I must say. Well, what is unique about your website? So, we are, what I realized was there are a lot of fashion, uh, there are a lot of e-commerce sites, but they cater to run-of-the-mill kind fashion and uh, I wanted to create something for the emerging designers, especially designers out of college in even in final year students. I want to pick those up, create an e-incubation for them, give them a free platform to showcase their uh, designs and uh, their brand. So uh, there was nobody doing that in the market. Everybody is selling branded stuff. But I wanted to work with uh, Generation Z and Millennials uh, who are just out of college or even final year college. 
and uh, I picked up this idea to help them and e-incubate them. Well, you seem to be very passionate about your line of work. And I'm sure many of our listeners are curious to know some of the tricks of the trade. Well, do you have any pearls of wisdom for our beginners? What do we do? Where do we begin from? So I think the first thing is to have a good idea in mind. Uh, first thing is to know what you want to do, how you want to do and and how what's your bandwidth. Because this business looks nice that yes, it's everything is online, but you need a lot of time, effort to put the shopping carts together, to see things are organized on your website. So, um, so first thing is you need to have an idea. The second thing is you need to be organized. The third thing is you should have, you should know what's the technology behind it. The fourth thing is how do you sell? And the fifth thing is, you know, do you have the merchants to sell? So uh, there are lots of uh, components around it. Um, First is the idea. If you have the idea what you want to sell, where you want to sell, in which markets you want to sell, rest everything can be put together. So I would say you should begin with, you know, choose a domain name for yourself. First know what you want to sell. Then choose a domain name for yourself. If you don't have the IT skills, find a web developer. Or if you have the in-house IT skills, start building it. Take a license from the business authorities in your region. Select an e-commerce and website platform. There are multiple e-commerce website platforms. You could look at WooCommerce, you could look at Shopify, you could look at Magenta to go with, you could look at Wix platform. So then find a theme that matches your e-commerce vision and then take the website alive. I hope I'm able to express what should be done. I uh, had one question. Um, So basically, Are there any uh, specific courses that people can learn? You need to Google and find out. But it's very simple. If you go on to uh, platforms like Shopify, they they give you step by step. You can pick up. So it's like a... it's like a cart. You can pick up things. You can choose things you want. You can. And right now, I think Shopify is giving a 90-day free trial. So there is no harm in exploring. You know, just go online, choose a 90-day trial. If you have a few products in mind, build it up. And uh, and it trains you. They do courses on Shopify itself to train you further. So, uh, and there's a lot of resource out there online. So uh, I think there shouldn't be a problem. If you are really passionate about it, go ahead, try it for yourself. And uh, I'd love to... Well, Miss Nandita, I'm sure we still have one listener whose question has not been answered. Please, could you give some tips uh, for shopping online? Uh, Like, how do we know we're safe? How do we know we're on a safe website? Yes, that's a very interesting question. Uh, And I think customers should take care of this in this world of, uh, you know, data privacy and data security. So uh, the first thing I would say is make sure the the website is SSL certified. That is, you know, when you type the website name, it should come come up as HTTPS. If you don't see that, then it's not a very secure site. So the first thing to see is, does it come with that? Uh, when you type the name, it should be HTTPS. And then the second thing you could look at is, um, you know, does do they have a uh, policy, their own... Uh, you know, data policy or a data security policy or privacy policy on the home page. Generally, sites which are secure, they do mention a lot about them. And the websites which are not secure, they don't mention anything about them. So it's important to go on the home page, read whatever is there on the home page, 
and what do you gather from there so if you look at our website we have a privacy policy at the bottom where we say we will not sell your data we will not sell your credit card or debit card details or any personal information uh you know which you share with us or when you buy or sell through us so things like this are very crucial to see before you put in your credit card or debit card details so i would say um uh, then you should see their data security policy if you can find on their website so generally a good and secure website will then you should see their return policies also because if a if a company doesn't have a good return policy sometimes uh, you know the customer is uh, forced to buy something which might not be of his interest so generally a website which is more open to cust- which is more customer centric is something i like and i would encourage so i would say look at their privacy policy look at their data security policy where they are sharing the data whom they'll share with and uh, look at their return policy these are few things which i i would say every buyer or customer should look at well that was some really thoughtful and informative words to our listeners ms nandita thank you so much for coming to our studio Thank you Shrey thank you for inviting me and it was a pleasure speaking to you and i hope your the audience who are listening they gather something out of our talk show and uh, and make it useful any time i am available uh, any students any millennials the generation z who are looking at starting i am always open to advise them and help them and i uh, wish you all the best and uh, thank you for having me over see you uh, on my website we are www.freesigners.com uh, and we will right now it's just an e-commerce but soon we are integrating an e-academy uh, in fashion we would have online courses in fashion we would tie up with fashion colleges across the globe it it's going to be a one stop shop in fashion and uh, we will also be rebranding it to fashion full stop so basically fashion begins with us and ends with us uh, i hope uh, uh, i hope people like my website and they come to it and uh, and it's a meaningful place marketplace for everyone thank you and look forward to uh you know you being my customers or vendors or whatever interacting with us thank you well, thank you so much miss nandita and you have a lovely day ahead of you well i know what to buy and where to buy my brother's birthday gift from now you guys stay tuned while ishal enjoys his shopping we'll be right back Welcome back listeners. You're listening to GTSR, your favorite radio station. We have our expo team in our studio who would like to share some very exciting news with us. Ooh! I wonder what is it? Hey Siri, call expo team. Calling expo team home. Hello, this is Nisa. Have you ever thought about whether we will have superpowers or robot teachers in about 100 years? Or what jobs will humans have in the future? Or what could we in a way to solve world issues like provide refugees with basic needs? We are proud to announce the virtual GFS Expo 2020. It's a chance to think creatively about these questions. Look for more and present your answers to the world. The competition is open to GFS students to think imaginatively about ideas related to sustainability, mobility and opportunity, the three sub themes of Expo 2020. This competition will be split into three groups: FS to year 2, year 3 to year 6 and year 7 to year 13. What ideas do you have? 
can you think imaginatively and outside the box to address a global issue? Whether you want to preserve the earth, improve transportation, or ensure equal opportunities for all, it is up to you. Keep your eyes peeled for more information coming soon. Welcome back, listeners. You're listening to the GTSR. Well, well, well. In our next segment, we have the Great Big Brother Roundup. Stay tuned. Into week eight of distance learning, and Big Brother Roundup is here again to give you the lowdown of what is happening around the GFS community. Once again, the heads of houses set another task this week to creatively bounce a ball into a target. Once again, the team put on a brilliant showing in showing that they have a lack of skills in this challenge. In social media, the GFS page has been on fire this week with more videos going out celebrating the teachers' hard work during this time. However, a special mention to Arjun from 7D who put on a professional music piece to share with the GFS community. No doubt, an appearance on GFS has got talent next year will be forthcoming. In other news, the inclusion sensation Miss Siobhan created a wonderful video including many teachers from around the school to promote the I Care, I Listen initiative. This video is to encourage children to reach out and let their teacher know if they need help. Here at Big Brother Roundup, we encourage the children to reach out to their teacher if they are struggling. And finally, Mr. Carl with his sports rep with a well-being champions this week creating some excellent videos. If you have not seen these, please make sure you go to the GFS webpage and check these out. That's all from Big Brother Roundup. Time to say why I and back to the studio. Well, welcome back, listeners. You're listening to the GTSR, your favorite radio station. It's time for my favorite part. Time to announce some house points. So, listeners, this is the moment you've been waiting for. We have the house points. In fourth place, with a total of 271 points, we have... Wait for it... Airhouse. And this week, in third place, with a total of 455 points, we have Earth House. Now for the moment you all have been waiting for. All right, guys, in this week, which lasted for 944 hours, 1,440 minutes, and 86,400 seconds, the house that comes in second place with a difference of 352 points is Firehouse with a total of 504 points which means the first place winner is Waterhouse with a total of 856 points Congratulations Waterhouse! Hey Shrey! I had this amazing idea. Why don't we set up a competition for our listeners? I mean, that's a good idea, but what's the competition all about? So listen, all you have to do is pretend to be marketing, accept few tips, and you have and you have to record yourself talking. You need to persuade the audience to buy your product, which you have purchased online. Ensure you persuade it, you include all the safety measures you have taken while buying this product. So it's basically a product review, isn't it? But how do they enter this competition? Yes, it is. Post your videos post your videos and audio on the Padlet link. The poster for this competition will be posted on all team websites. Oh whoa, it's here. That came quick. It only took a few hours. Thank you so much. Um, where do I sign? Okay, thank you. Have a great day. 
Yippee, that was quick. I managed to get my delivery in a few hours. Well, why don't you demonstrate what they need to do in the video? I mean, how about you use the birthday gift order that you received? Okay, so I ordered my brother's gift and it came amazing. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. The things I made sure of while ordering ones was I looked for the S in HTTPs. I checked the website for the privacy policy. I found their contact information, ver verified their trust seal. She can go on and on, guys. She is a very proud shopper now. Just please read the poster for more info. Shrey! Well, 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 stay tuned, guys, until next Thursday. Signing off, this is Shrey. And this is Ishal. Oh, oh, finally. Shrey, wait. Bye-bye, guys.